Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to review a procedure that you've never seen before on YouTube and you'll never see again and it's all about the Still MS-170. This is like the worst saw I've ever had for leaking bar oil. It just pours out. So what I've been doing for the last I guess year and a half or more is every time I'm finished using it I got to drain all the bar oil out. You can't get it all out unless you want to just leave it tipped up overnight you know inside of a bucket and guess what happens you come back you look in the bottom of your case and it's all smeared with oil so I decided let's fix this once and for all and I'm not going to take this whole thing apart like you some some YouTube videos you can see on YouTube where they just take this whole thing apart and uh, well they never get it back together you know taking these uh, well I'll show you it's got these kind of rubber plugs that go in here that you got to take out. And this thing is so cheesy. If you take a look at the underside here, see that all plastic? It's all plastic, cheesy crap. You know what? I'm afraid if I try and pull anything out on that, it's just going to bust everything. So you know what? You bust it ahead of time. I'm going to take you over in the bench and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do and what I'm looking to solve. And I'll show you where that little uh, oil tube goes from one side of the tank to the uh, pump and where it leaks and let's see if I can resolve this once and for all because I'm not going through taking this goofy chainsaw apart in a million pieces just to resolve this when I can resolve it in 10 minutes so let's take a look and see what I'm going to do I know it's kind of dark here and it's hard to see anything but you can see right there the tube it goes from one side to the other and you see this rubber bushing stuff? I'm telling you, this thing was made never to come apart. They got one on this side, you gotta take the handle all off. And you know, I think this is kinda a design where they're meant to sell you a $200 chainsaw and if you run into a problem, you just chuck it in the garbage because that's how close I am to chucking this in the garbage. So I am gonna just resolve this once and for all right here. And yeah, you got it, you seen it. There it is, the jigsaw. We're gonna go after this big time. Let's take a look and see how we're gonna fix this my way. Okay, so there we are right there. Now I'm gonna make a cut right across here and I'm gonna make a cut right across here. You'll get a better look of it after I'm finished the cut. But this is my idea, this is what I'm going with. And let's start right here. Okay, and we're going to do this one. Got to hold on to it. There you go. It's out. So let's take a good look and see what the prize is underneath. Okay, you couldn't see me cut much anyways. But there it is right there. And this is the hose that goes from here to here. And you see this nice little well that it has in there? Well, that's where it's all leaking from. Yeah, I cut this off right here and I cut this off here. But uh, you know what? I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this for good. Because I'm not replacing this dog right here. And uh, I'll bring you back when I got this all cleaned up and I'll show you what the next part is. Okay, there it is. It's all cleaned up and you can see how it goes inside the tank there and then it comes over on this side and I don't know which side is actually leaking whether it's from here or from this side but I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this thing once and for all. Okay you ready for this? Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to smooth that out and I'll bring you back. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour just to let it sit up. And all I did was use uh, 
little bit of a wooden stick here just to kind of smooth it out. And this is just regular um, silicone, 100% silicone, outdoor silicone. You can use RTV as well. And you know, I tried this out a couple of times, you know, like pushing down, pulling up. And you know, when you take a look at this, well, in my belief, I can get away with just leaving it just like that, and that's what I'm going to do. So if you're thinking about doing this project, if you want, you can go across that with like a piece of, uh, say, uh, maybe 16, 18 gauge sheet metal, and just go across there, drop in a couple of rivets, and you're good. But for me, I'm going to try and leave it just like that, because I'm going to be watching this, and I use this to bring up to my camp every time I go. I put it in the case. Now you see the case is spotless right now. I put it in the case and of course you gotta have oil in it, right? Because a lot of times when I'm traveling the roads, yeah, I got trees dropping down on the road, you know, overnight and this kind of stuff going in the back bush roads, plus going into my place. Now, I'm lucky if I got five hours on this saw for the last five, six years I've owned this. Now maybe they have improved it and fixed it, but all I did was spray it out with some brake cleaner and you can see that that hose looked like brand new, right? But it leaks and, and it's not like it's pulled out anywhere. So I made sure that it was all attached nice. So I've sealed that off for good. And we're gonna see over time whether this leaks or not. Cause the first time I go up to my camp, fill it full of oil, gasoline, go up for the trip and uh, we'll see if there's any oil in the bottom. But I, I'm guessing, yeah, I don't think you're gonna find any because that's sealed up real good. And if you really had to, you know, you could just pull all back out anyways if you wanted to. It's not like it's a permanent thing like epoxy or anything like that. But I've got three other chainsaws. So if you're thinking about chainsaws that, oh, they all leak. Well, I've got two chainsaws, two stills, uh, MS 260 and a 360. They're over 20 years old. And I take them back and forth in the fall when I'm cutting bigger wood. This is only just for an emergency use. And no, there's no leaks in them things. And then I got my Dolmar, it's a 73cc saw. I've had that for about eight years and not a leak. It's sitting out my shed right now. I leave oil in it, never any oil leaking out through the bottom. So yeah, maybe they fix this now, but I'm telling you what, this is the cheesy design I've ever seen in my life. All this plastic crap, you can't take it apart. And uh, if you can take it apart, well, good for you. Do it that way, take out the old, uh, you know, the uh, little hose there, put a new one in if you want. That's not for me. Uh, I got no time for that. And uh, this is my resolve, it may not be yours, but this is how I fixed it. So thanks for joining me here today. Maybe you got a good idea. Maybe you got one of these suckers here that just leaks oil like a sieve. Well, now you know what to do with it. These guys come back again. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.